My name is Robert Williams, I'm from Boston. Uh, I just realized by looking through your rules a little closer that the item I really want to speak about is not on your agenda. And I wanted to speak about it because it needs to be on the agenda. And I'm talking about a prayer to, to start the meeting. But it's not on the agenda. The rules say that I should, if it's not on the agenda, that you go through with the proper administrative uh, 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 channels. <laughs> Put my glasses on here. But anyway, I want to do that. But there is something on the agenda that I want to talk about also. And I believe what I put on the, uh, the reason for speaking is broad enough that uh, I would cover that too. Uh, I noticed on the part on the agenda with, with, uh, that deals with the uh, voucher litigation. Uh, the vouchers for public, for private schools that the General Assembly uh, is, is going to do appears to be a, 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 the best thing for education because if you face the facts, public schools do not equal private schools in test scores and other and other uh, attributes. I think I think the the uh, private schools in the state ought to have an opportunity, and I'm sure parents would like to send their children to where they can get their best opportunity. And I think everybody should be for that, including board members. Now. The resolutions on the agenda tonight is uh, where each one of you folks will be asked to vote to join a lawsuit to fight the General Assembly over the constitutionality of these vouchers. I think that's the wrong thing to do for several reasons. One, the majority of the people in the state of North Carolina elected the representatives, the senators, the governors, the governor that we have, and, and uh, a lot of judges, and uh, the judges too. So the chances are you're going to lose, which is going to be a waste of money. And if you do win, the voters in, in the state of North Carolina voted for the same governor, representatives, and senators that all they have to do is sit around and amend the Constitution to allow the school voucher. So in the end, it's a useless pursuit. And I would recommend that each and every one of you board members vote against that resolution. Thank you. Thank you.